Germany, a powerful nation with over 80 million people, lies at the heart of Europe. Today, many people around the world, including in the U.S., Canada, Brazil, and Argentina, can trace their roots back to Germany. While modern borders may define the nation, the true story of its people stretches far beyond these boundaries. The genetic history of Germany is a rich, multifaceted tale, shaped by migrations wars and survival over millennia. Understanding the genetic makeup of the German people reveals a narrative far more complex than simple ancestry. It is a story built from the mixing of diverse ancient populations over thousands of years. From the hunter-gatherers of the Ice Age to the Anatolian farmers who brought agriculture to Europe from the nomadic Yamnia riders who spread Indo-European languages across the continent to the later Germanic tribes who mingled with Roman and Slavic settlers. Zeke group left their genetic mark on the land what makes Germany's genetic history particularly intriguing is not only the diversity of its ancestry, but also the layers of genetic evidence that can be traced through time. Modern genetic studies have revealed that today's Germans are a blend of at least four major ancient groups, the Western hunter-gatherers, the Anatolian farmers, the Yamnaya steppe people, and the Germanic tribes among others. These groups intermingled over centuries passing down distinct genetic markers and traits that continue to shape the population of Germany today. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the genetic history of Germany, exploring how each of these groups contributed to the modern German people tracing their origins and migrations and uncovering the ancient markers that persist in the population today. The genetic makeup of the modern German population is the result of millennia of migration, survival, and cultural exchange. To truly understand the complexity of German ancestry, we must travel through different time periods beginning from the last ice age and moving toward the historical events that shaped the country's current genetic landscape. From the earliest hunter-gatherers to the expansion of agricultural societies and the profound impact of nomadic steppe tribes, the genetic history of Germany is deeply intertwined with the story of Europe as a whole. Around 45,000 years ago, during the peak of the last ice age, much of Europe was covered in thick ice sheets, creating one of the harshest climates in history. In what is now Germany, large areas remained frozen, making life incredibly difficult for early human populations. However, not all was lost. In a narrow band just south of the glaciers between modern-day France and southwestern Germany, small groups of hunter-gatherers managed to survive. These early humans were the first Homo sapiens to occupy this region, and their descendants would leave behind traces of their genetic legacy in the modern population. The hunter-gatherers in Germany were part of the Western European hunter-gatherer population, which shared many common genetic traits. This early group developed unique adaptations to their harsh environment, including the ability to process vitamin D effectively. Despite limited sunlight, a vital adaptation in the cold, dark conditions of Northern Europe. Archaeological findings such as the Hollefels site in southwestern Germany provide clear evidence of these people's remarkable cultural and technological achievements. At the site, researchers uncovered some of the earliest examples of symbolic art, including the famous Venus of Hollefels, a figurine carved from mammoth ivory that dates back approximately 4,000 years. Additionally, bone flutes have been found indicating that music was an integral part of their culture during a time when mammoths still roamed the plains. In terms of genetics, these early hunter-gatherers predominantly carried haplogroup IY DNA, one of the oldest paternal lineages found in Europe. Maternal lineages were largely represented by haplogroups U5 and U2, which are still present, though rare, in modern German populations. These hunter-gatherers, despite their relatively small numbers, developed crucial survival strategies and passed down genetic traits that would endure for thousands of years. 
About 8,500 years ago, a monumental shift occurred in Europe with the arrival of the Neolithic farmers from Anatolia, modern-day Turkey. These early agriculturalists brought with them not just farming knowledge, but a completely new way of life that would reshape the continent. As these Anatolian migrants moved westward, they introduced farming techniques, including the cultivation of wheat and barley, as well as domesticated animals such as cattle and sheep. This migration played a crucial role in the development of modern European populations, including those in Germany. The genetic impact of these Anatolian farmers on the German population is profound. Today it is estimated that 60-70% of the genetic ancestry of modern Germans comes from these early Neolithic farmers. The genetic markers associated with these groups are evident in their Y-DNA haplogroups, primarily G2A and mitochondrial DNA, which includes haplogroups H, T, J, K, and others. These markers were carried by the migrants who spread throughout Europe, replacing or intermingling with the local hunter-gatherer populations. The Neolithic Revolution marked the beginning of a significant transformation in European society. Agricultural societies could sustain larger populations than the small mobile hunter-gatherer groups. This population expansion provided a distinct advantage over the smaller hunter-gatherer societies, leading to the rapid replacement of the latter in many regions, including the Germanic lands. Archaeological evidence from sites in Germany, such as the discovery of a 7,000-year-old woman from Stuttgart, shows that early Neolithic farmers carried haplogroup T2 in their mitochondrial DNA. This individual likely had dark hair and brown eyes traits that are common among the Anatolian farmers. In contrast, the earlier hunter-gatherers of Europe, including those in Germany, typically had lighter features such as blue eyes. This transition from hunting and gathering to farming was not without conflict. Evidence from archaeological sites like the Talheim Death Pit in southern Germany suggests that violence was a part of this shift. The mass grave, which contains the remains of individuals who died violently around 7,000 years ago, is believed to be the result of a conflict between the incoming farmers and the local hunter-gatherer groups. This conflict, though violent, was also a process of integration with some local populations assimilating into the new agricultural societies leading to further genetic mixing. By 4,800 years ago, a new wave of migration dramatically altered the genetic landscape of Europe. From the vast steppes of the Pontic Caspian region, modern-day Ukraine, and southern Russia, a group known as the Yamnaya people began to move westward. The Yamnaya were a nomadic horse-riding culture that significantly influenced the genetic makeup of modern Europeans, including Germans. Their migration is one of the most significant events in the genetic history of Germany. The Yamnaya brought with them several key developments that would shape European societies. One of the most notable was their ability to digest milk in adulthood, a genetic trait that would become widespread across Europe. The Yamnaya also introduced new technologies such as the wheel and the use of horses for transportation, which transformed the way people lived and traveled. The genetic legacy of the Yamnaya can still be seen today in the form of the R1B haplogroup, which is common in modern Germans and other Western Europeans. These steppe migrants were tall, strong individuals who lived active, physically demanding lives. Their presence in Europe left a lasting impact, particularly in Central and Eastern Europe, including parts of Germany. Genetic studies show that as much as 30% of the German population's ancestry can be traced back to the Yamnaya. This contribution is particularly strong in the western parts of Germany, where R1B is the dominant Y-DNA haplogroup. Another significant cultural group that impacted the genetic history of Germany is the Bell Beaker culture. Between 2800 and 2300 BC, the Bell Beaker people spread across much of Western and Central Europe. Originating in the Iberian Peninsula, they migrated northward, bringing with them new technologies, including advanced metallurgy and pottery. The Bell Beaker people are also known for their distinctive bell-shaped pottery, which gave the culture its name. 
Genetic studies of Bell Beaker individuals show a strong influence from the Yamnaya steppe people, with many carrying the R1B M269 haplogroup. This migration further solidified the genetic ties between Western and Central Europe, including Germany. The Bell Beaker people's legacy is particularly evident in the spread of lighter eye and hair colors, which became more prevalent across Northern and Western Europe as a result of these migrations. In Germany, the Bell Beaker culture played a critical role in shaping the genetic foundation of later European populations. Their migration to Central Europe and integration with local groups further cemented the presence of Indo-European genetic markers across the region. This period of cultural expansion and genetic mixing would set the stage for the continued evolution of the Germanic peoples in the centuries to come. As we move into the early Iron Age, the Hallstatt and Latine cultures represent the final stages of the genetic evolution that led to the formation of the Germanic tribes. The Hallstatt culture, which flourished between 1200 and 450 BC, is particularly important in understanding the development of the Germanic peoples. Hallstatt was characterized by its advanced metalworking, distinctive pottery, and the formation of early tribal societies that would later evolve into the Germanic tribes. Genetic studies of Hallstatt individuals show that they carried a mix of haplogroups, including R1b and G2a, with some evidence of Southern European ancestry. This reflects the ongoing interaction between Central Europe and the Mediterranean world. The Latine culture that followed Hallstatt further cemented the influence of the Germanic tribes, which would later play a pivotal role in the formation of medieval Europe. The genetic markers of these early European populations, including those from the Hallstatt and Latine cultures, laid the groundwork for the Germanic tribes that would come to dominate much of Northern Europe in the centuries that followed. The genetic story of the German people is a fascinating tapestry woven through thousands of years of migrations, conquests, and cultural exchanges. From the hunter-gatherers of the Ice Age to the Anatolian farmers from the nomadic steppe people of the Yamnaya culture to the diverse tribal groups of the Germanic period. The genetic makeup of modern Germans is a product of multiple waves of migration and adaptation. Today, Germany stands as a testament to this rich genetic history with over 80 million people who share a deep intertwined ancestry that spans across Europe and beyond. Modern Germans carry genetic markers from at least four major ancestral groups, the Western hunter-gatherers, the Anatolian farmers, the Yamnaya nomads, and the Germanic tribes. These groups each contributed distinct genetic signatures, which continue to influence the population today. Haplogroups such as R1b, R1a, I1, I2, and R1b, U106 are common in German populations, with the R1b haplogroup being especially prevalent due to the significant influence of the Yamnaya people. These markers are a direct link to the migratory patterns that shaped Europe, marking a clear division between ancient populations and their genetic legacy. The impact of these migrations is not just seen in the physical traits, but also in the cultural practices that have endured over millennia. For instance, the ability to digest milk as adults, a trait brought by the Yamnaya and adopted by much of Europe, remains a defining feature of German populations. This adaptation, along with other genetic traits like lighter skin and eye colors, provides insight into how the environment and migration shape the population over time. Today, Germany's diverse genetic makeup reflects its complex history of invasions, migrations, and exchanges. While the country has unified politically in recent centuries, its genetic structure reveals a much older, more complex story. The influence of the Roman Empire, the migration of Slavic tribes, the settlement of Viking groups, and the integration of various Germanic tribes all left their mark on the people of Germany, contributing to the distinct identity seen in the population today. In the future, continued advancements in genetic research 
will likely uncover even more details about the connections between Germany and its neighboring regions, shedding light on how these ancient populations shaped not only Germany, but the entire European continent. The genetic legacy of Germany is a rich and dynamic narrative, one that continues to evolve with each new discovery.